I am super duper amped today. I just got back from a getaway with my pops. We went to San Jose, we went to Vegas. We had such a great time. Literally got back in last night. Now the next nine days are gonna be really special. I'm going to a very, very cool place, somewhere that I've always wanted to go in a very long time. Fedora hat, Cuba. I think you get it. Now, it's been a pretty hectic day, you gotta be honest, I've been running around like a monkey. Uh, it's actually almost 5 p.m. We gotta leave at 9 p.m., that's four hours, and my list of to-do things is like this freaking long. So, trying to get as much done as I can. Now, I'm not doing anything too crazy or interesting today, as today's just travel day, but make sure you stay tuned to my next nine or 10 vlogs. That's gonna be a lot of adventures and a lot of fun. But before my flight tonight, I'm basically gonna be taking you guys on a bunch of errands with me. Woohoo! All right, basically going to the bank right now. I need some cash for Cuba. This is a thousand US dollars. And these are euros. Now, why did I convert my US dollars into euros? At the time of this recording, because of the relationship between Cuba and the US, there is a 10% levy on US dollars. Now, that's on top of bank fees and exchange rates, etc. Now, a workaround that is to convert your US dollars into euros or Canadian dollars. That way, you avoid the 10% levy and save more money. You're welcome. All right, gonna head into 18.8, get my hair cut. Hello. Hey, what's up, Brenda? How's it going? Good, ready? This hair has been untamed for over 30 days. Looking good. Thank you, take care. All right, I got a fun question to ask you guys. Since you guys have been watching me so much, time for me to learn more about you guys out there. But what would you do if a thousand dollars landed on your lap right now? Like, you know, like what's, what, what's that one thing you've always wanted to do, right? Or where would you go? Please comment below, I would love to read them. You see this mess in the living room? It looks like something just exploded everywhere. This is me trying to pack. Two hours before we gotta leave. Here's a quick travel tip, check this out. I just got these cool, uh, this is not a Ziploc bag, right? I know it looks like one, it even says Ziploc on it, but this is actually a space saver bag for traveling. How it works is, you put your clothes in here, and uh, it sucks out all the air, and it compresses everything, and you save like 50%. So, open it up, put it in here. Here, I'll just show you this, look, check this out. This is four shirts and four pairs of shorts. Normally, it's like this big, okay, not thick, and that takes up all that space in your bag, but you put it in this, this space saver bag, and you zip it up and you push, and the air comes out of this thing, but it can't go back in. So it's all compressed. Freaking awesome. So I love traveling light, and I love compressing space. Here's another cool product that I never leave home without. The Scross International Power Converter. It's really freaking cool. I mean, it has pretty much all the standard plugs around the world and allows you to interchange with this little click right here. Let me show you how it works. So you got that right there for all your US plugs. You got this guy right there for like your Euro plugs, I believe. You got this one right here. And then you also got this one right here. So it allows you to pretty much use it almost anywhere in the world. So you don't have to bring all these different kind of adapters. You can just bring one. So it has your plugs in the front. And what's really cool is it has two USB ports. This thing is awesome. Now, I'm excited for Cuba, don't get me wrong, but here's why I'm not excited about Cuba. I am so sad about this, guys, check this out. Hot tip, do not bring your drone to Cuba. Basically, Cuba considers drones as contraband. They think you're like a spy and all these weird things. There has been no foreigner that has successfully brought their drone inside Cuba and get awesome drone footage. So I wanted to be the first one. I tried so hard to get a special permit, it didn't work out. So I'm sad to say, Joni, I will be parting you tonight. I'm so sorry. I've taken this thing everywhere with me, wherever I've traveled. And now I'm so sad, I have to leave her behind. Be good. Be good at home. Uh, I'm also sad to yeah, leave this thing sure, behind too. I'm sure. also so, I'm so oh, sad yeah, to leave her behind. Mm -hmm. No, I'm dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad to leave Lily behind. 
so sad. <laughs> Alright, I just want to show you guys what I'm packing. Got my laptop, my charger, my mouse, my GoPro Hero 3, GoPro Hero 4, GoPro Hero Session, my DJI Osmo, bunch of GoPro mounts and accessories here, charging batteries for the DJI Osmo, my GoPro tripod, traveling chargers and whatnot, bringing my fins because I definitely want to do some snorkeling. Got my fishing rod, that's actually a telescopic fishing rod, so it goes out to about seven feet and folds down to about a foot and a half. It's really cool. Got two fishing reels, my favorite diving mask in the whole world, and that's all my clothes. So as you can see, I have a lot more toys and gear than clothes. All right, let's get this all in the luggage. What's up, bro? Dude, what is going on, man? You ready for uh, for Cuba? Ready for an adventure, that's what I'm ready for, man. Steven's joined me on this Cuba trip. We're super excited. Heading down to San Diego, pick up another buddy. Sad moment right now. <laughs> leaving two girls and two boys behind. Bye, Lily. Love you, mamas. Bye, Forge, I'm leaving you. See you, protect the house, okay? Protect mommy. Ah, uh, my two boys. I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, see ya. Yeah, Don't burn down the house. Don't throw a big party. See ya. Love you, baby. All right, so I'm a little sad right now because I left Lily. Uh, she's been with me the last couple of trips. Um, you know, Thailand, Portugal, Colombia, St. Martin, and leaving her for nine days makes me just a little sad. I miss her, miss the dogs already, but hey, uh, she's gonna go with us next time. So we got about an hour and a half before we reach San Diego. We're actually gonna be picking up Manolo. You've seen him in a couple of vlogs. Uh, that's actually Lily's cousin. So gonna be pretty cool to hang out with him, and uh, we're actually taking off from Tijuana, Mexico. Woo! What up? <laughs> All right, we're here in San Diego. What's up, Primo? What's up? You ready for Cuba? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got about a 30 minute ride to TJ. We have arrived at Tijuana. Super duper excited about to cross the border and go to the airport. attendant a bag of candy and I told her to share it with the rest of the crew it makes me really happy to see that they're sharing it with everybody and the captain and everyone's eating laughing and giggling about it Guys, 